everyone, welcome to the March manga haul. I've been focusing on other things at the moment, but I'm glad to have this finally uploaded. I also want to say thank you so much for 1,000 subscribers. Numbers aren't really important to me because this channel was made purely for fun, but I do want to thank you all so much for the support as it truly means a lot to me because I wouldn't have made it this far without your support or interest in my videos. Anyways, this might be one of my favorite hauls and as always, the best is near the end. I personally think the haul gets better and better as the video goes on. Let me know down in the comments below if anything in the video catches your eye. Enough talking, let's get into the haul. I'm first going to start off this video with three new series that I picked up, which are Love of Kill, Can't Stop Cursing You, and Love and Heart. I haven't gotten into reading these yet, so I don't know much about them, nor do I want to give an incorrect synopsis, but just from reading the synopsis on the back of the books, they do sound and look interesting. I then got A Sign of Affection. This is about a hearing impaired female college student who becomes interested in another student who seems to travel a lot and is trilingual. They end up befriending each other and become fascinated with each other's different lives. I also got Play It Cool Guys Volume 1 in English. I've already mentioned what this series is about in previous videos, so feel free to check those out. This is a personal favorite of mine and I definitely recommend it. This series is also all in color, which is different with other manga series. I then received a few pre-orders and picked up some volumes for series that I'm collecting. I picked up Perfect World Volume 5, An Incurable Case of Love Volume 7, and this is the last volume, Norgami Volume 7, and Fruits Baskets Collector's Edition Volume 3. I picked up Yona of the Dawn Volume 1, and I haven't read it yet, so I don't want to butcher the synopsis, but I have heard a lot of people recommend this, and I decided to try it out myself. I finally picked up Berserk Volume 1 in the Deluxe Edition. I'm really hyped and excited to start collecting this series because I know the series is really good and it's highly praised by almost everyone. With Attack on Titan's manga ending, I decided to pick up the colossal editions of the manga. I've been following the series since I was in high school and I honestly believe the series deserved all the hype it got back then to now all throughout the years. I had a lot of trouble trying to figure out what version of the manga I wanted to get, but for the sake of saving space, I picked up the colossal versions. Hands down, Attack on Titan is one of my favorite series and it holds a special place in my heart. I also picked up Blue Period Volumes 1 and 2 after hearing it got an anime adaptation. From what I know, this series is about a young boy named Yatora Yaguchi who has friends, excels in school, and pretty much lives a normal life. However, he feels empty as he doesn't have a true passion in anything. Until one day, he comes across a painting done by the art club and becomes extremely intrigued and mesmerized by it. This story ultimately focuses on Yatora discovering something he's actually passionate about and something he wants to pursue and do with his life. Next, I picked up The Way of the House Husband Volumes 1-4. through four. This is about a man named Tatsu who was a legendary Yakuza member known as the Immortal Dragon. One day, he disappeared from the Yakuza world and reappeared with a new profession as a full-time house husband. This is an episodic series which I personally like because it's refreshing to read in between plot-heavy series that I'm reading. With this series, I can relax when I read it and not focus so much on the plot or trying to remember certain things in previous volumes, etc. It's hard to explain, but I hope you all get what I'm saying. I was really excited to pick up all Fire Punch. I binged the series so fast as I'm a fan of Tatsuki Fujimoto's work. Fire Punch takes place on a completely frozen earth caused by the said ice witch where humans and those with special abilities live. However, everyone on earth is struggling to survive as the world has become so barren. Agni is a boy who has the ability to regenerate. One day, an individual with the blessing of fire visits the village that Agni is living at. Tragedy strikes, which causes Agni to constantly be on fire while regenerating at the same time. Agni then has one set goal and that is to get revenge. I don't want to give away too much because I definitely recommend this series, especially if you liked Chainsaw Man. Personally, I really like the series despite knowing this had some mixed reviews. Fire Punch is definitely edgy, darker, and more serious than Chainsaw Man, but it still had some comedic instances. It does mention some taboo things, so please be of age when you read this series. I also picked up used volumes of LDK. This is a romance series I remember reading when I was younger and personally really liked it. Sometimes the drama is overbearing or just kind of dumb, and it gets really annoying, but it gets better after about chapter 30-ish. This is about a girl named Aoi who's a student and lives by herself. She discovers her next door neighbor is Shusei who is the prince of their high school. Aoi causes damage to Shusei's apartment, causing them to live together in her apartment until his is fixed. Aoi begins to learn about the type of person Shusei is, but of course drama occurs throughout it all. Another romance series I remember reading when I was younger is Body. This is about a girl named Ryoko who begins crushing on a fellow student named Ryu because he's extremely quiet and is usually on his own. One day, Ryoko discovers Ryu works for a host club and can't believe he's a completely different type of person. Ryoko keeps his secret and declares she'll never fall in love with him, but Ryu challenges her on that. They actually do get together and it does happen quickly. This is an okay and average series, but I personally enjoyed it. 
Unfortunately, they canceled producing the series in English, but they finished it in Japanese, and I believe there's a total of 15 volumes. I believe they stopped at volume 10 for the English publications, and I do own that. I was really excited and happy to pick up the rest of Dora h e d o r o I really enjoyed and loved the anime, and definitely wanted to pick up the rest of the manga because I did get volume 1 in a previous haul. Dora h e d o r o takes place in the hole where humans live, the sorcerer's world where magic users live, and in hell. Our protagonist goes by the name of Kaiman, who now has the face and body of a reptile. Kaiman has no memories of who he was before being transformed or who even transformed him, thus making this the main premise of the series where Kaiman is to find the sorcerer that caused his transformation and to turn him back to normal. Of course, other things occur along the way that causes the premise and plot to grow. Just from the covers and the art, I love how gritty, dirty, dark, and edgy it looks. Keep in mind this series was released in 2000 and was completed in 2018. I haven't gotten too far into the manga yet, but I do recommend it. What makes me love this series even more is that the creator, Q Hayashida, is a woman, and I don't know, it just makes me really happy learning that. Another series I decided to pick up is Seraph of the End. I really enjoyed the anime when it first aired when I was in high school, but never really got the chance to read the manga. From what I remember from the anime, is that Seraph of the End is about majority of the human population dying off from a virus and vampires enslaving the remaining human population. The protagonist is named Yu, who is an orphan and was used as livestock for the vampires. Tragedy occurs in his youth and later on joins the Japanese Imperial Demon Army to ultimately get rid of the vampires and to get revenge. I didn't think I would pick this up so soon, but I did, and that is the Tokyo Ghoul Complete Box Set. This is a series that I'm pretty sure everyone knows about, so there isn't much for me to say about it in terms of the synopsis. But for a really basic one, this is about a college student named Kaneki who has his world turned upside down and becomes a flesh eating ghoul. Tokyo Ghoul was one of my favorites when I was in high school, and I was a big fan of it. I know the anime isn't the best, but I was still glad to see it animated for the very least. Tokyo Ghoul is definitely a unique story and it has such beautiful art. This is a really iconic and popular series, so check it out if you haven't. Another series I picked up is the first box set of Naruto. There's nothing much for me to say about this yet again because it is one of the big three in anime. I mean, everyone, even my parents, knows about Naruto. I didn't expect or plan on picking up the box set until I saw it was in stock for a pretty good price. Naruto is a childhood favorite of mine, as it may also be for many people, including my friends, and I knew that I would eventually want this series in my collection because of how sentimental it is to me. To be honest, I've never really seen the manga covers for Naruto, and I've got to say that they look really good. For the Japanese manga and art books I picked up this month, I picked up a volume 15 of Jujutsu Kaisen. I also picked up the fan book and the two light novels. Also, check out this beautiful acrylic stand I got recently. I believe it was an exclusive in Japan, so I was really lucky to get my hands on it. I also picked up Chainsaw Man Volume 11, which is the last volume of the series. Another series you've seen in my previous videos is Given. I decided to pick up the Japanese volumes to support the creator and because this is a series that has moved me a lot emotionally. The Japanese versions honestly look so much better than the English publications, in my opinion. For the art books, I picked up the illustrations for Tokyo Ghoul and Tokyo Ghoul Re. To be honest, I didn't realize I already owned one of the art books, but it's in Japanese and so much smaller than the English publication. It's insane to see the art change just by looking at the covers of these two. As a fan of Tokyo Ghoul and the art, I just had to get these.
And last but not least, I picked up the Given Illustrations book and the Given Anime Fan book. Given is another series where I just really love the art of it all. It's just all so pretty and I'm really happy to have picked these up. And that brings us to the very end of the video. Thank you all so much for checking out the Marsh Manga haul. Looking at everything I got kind of overwhelms me, but it's definitely worth it. Thank you all so much for being patient with me because I do know this video is being released a bit late, but of course, it's better late than never. Regardless, thank you all so much for the support and checking out my videos. Feel free to subscribe, drop a like, and leave a comment down below letting me know your thoughts on this video or if anything in it caught your eye. As always, until next time, take care of yourself. Hope to see you in the next video.